Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And a uh, question that I get from time to time, people are trying to do a clean install and running into blue screen of death uh, on the install itself. So uh, I had one, actually, a comment today where um, the user was okay in Windows 10 when he was running it and decided that he just wanted to do a clean install and ran into this while he was installing it. So what could be the problem when you're installing Windows 10? It worked fine, uh, or even Windows 11, it worked fine while it was running, but when you try to clean install, it gets you this error message. Often has to do with either Windows itself having some kind of conflict with the hardware, or it could be the way the settings are actually set. Make sure that you check properly um, on you know your BIOS settings. Make sure everything is all right. But one particular thing to look at is remove everything from the USB ports that you can. If your PC has connected tons of things, you know a, a printer and any other devices by USB external hard drives. This is often a cause of problems because the more you have hardware to detect, the higher the chances Windows might actually not detect well. So remove everything that you can, just leave the bare minimum on your PC, and then start the install again. Chances are if you remove the USB devices, there's a good chance that it's going to work fine while installing. And after, you you know can reinstall those USB devices one by one. Of course, like I said, there are problems sometimes with configuration. The way that the PC was configured at the start creates some kind of problem or conflict in Windows, and you get a blue screen on the install. So these are things that happen uh, from time to time. Make sure that you also are installing on a disk, a uh, hard disk that doesn't contain... Um, you know, another install of Windows, previous install of Windows that you haven't removed. Things like that are prone to give you blue screens because Windows will start installing, kind of see that something's there, and might crash because of that. The best install you can do is really a clean install, which means you erase everything. And then you start the install from scratch with nothing. That's why a backup's important. That's why... Uh, you know, having um, even your, um, you know, pictures and your documents in other drives so that you can actually unplug the drive or at least um, have them on something else than your main drive that you're installing Windows in uh, is also a good uh, thing. And, you know, if you leave an install of Windows on the drive and try to install Windows, chances of a blue screen are high because of previous install that is not totally comp compatible. It will be different. Each install of Windows is always different. So sometimes that could cause some blue screens. So things like that to check for. And of course, if you had problems in Windows, blue screens, freezes, and you try to install Windows and it actually blue screens from the start with a clean install, you have to think about the possibility of having hardware problems. One of the common hardware problems is uh, faulty RAM modules. It happens more often than you think. And this will create random blue screens or random freezes from time to time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.